Hey guys, so today this video is a bit different than what I have filmed before. I'm going to do a step through step, kind of teaching you how to do eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyebrows and mascara. So enjoy! Okay, so at the moment I've just got all my face products on and so now I'm going to start with my eyebrows because that's what I start with usually after I've done all of my face products. I'm just going to tie my hair back. Okay so with eyebrows you have the shape of your eyebrow is quite important so there's the arch, the tail and the front start of your eyebrow. I start at the arch and I find that works really well for me. So I'm going to take just a darker eyebrow colour and fill it in. So you can already tell the difference between the two tails and the arches. So now tails are done and now I grab a lighter colour and just fill in the rest. And when I brush through them I like to brush through the front of them first and kind of bring them up and then kind of go like that and then just brush through them. Okay so now that you've done that you want to set your eyebrows so that they don't go anywhere so I'm just going to take this Milani brow gel, just a clear gel, I'm just going to brush this through them. And your eyebrows are done for now. Okay now we're going to do eyeshadow. Okay, so with eyeshadow, so I'm just going to take this and take a neutral kind of brownie colour and I'm going to put this in the crease. And what this does is it acts as a transition shade. So if you put a colour on the lid, this colour will help blend it out and not so harsh. But the colour I'm going to use is just that one there. And it should look something like that, depending on the colour that you use, and you just do it to the other eye. So now that both eyes are the same, you have the same transition shade. Now I'm going to take a lid colour, and this just goes all over the lid. I'm going to take this colour here. I'm going to use my finger to put this on, because when you use your finger, it transfers colour easier to the lid. So now that you've done that, you just want to go back in with the same brush that you used before and grab the same crease colour that you used and just blend it out again. So now, to add a bit more dimension, I'm going to add a darker colour and put it in the outer V. And the outer V is just going, it just goes from there. I'll just take that colour there. So now, I'm going to take lighter colour then when I put it on the lid and put it right in the middle. So I'm just going to take that goldy one there. I'm just going to take a light colour, that one there, put this in the inner corner and this just helps to add a little bit of brightness in the eye area. So now I'm going to come back to my brows and I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to use this brush here. Now take the same colour that I put in the inner corner and just put that on the brow. Now eyeliner. So I'm going to do the same tip that I did in my other video. Now that you look like a weirdo, take your eyeliner. Now I've got to get up and personal for this. So. With eyeliner, you just want to do it very slowly and take your time. I get, it is a thing that you do get better with practice, so you just got to keep practicing until you don't need tape. <laughs> now with the wing, you just want to follow up to the end of your eyebrow. you got to try your best to do that to the other side. 
person out. Just give a little peel off the tape. Okay, we're good. You want to clean up where you took the makeup off and where the eyeshadow has gone a bit bizarre. So you're just going to take the concealer, you're just going to run this all around there. And this will just like make a nice crisp line between eyeshadow and foundation. I'm gonna go a fluffier brush to blend it all out so it doesn't look streaky. Now I'm scar. I always like to curl my eyelashes before I put mascara on because I really see a difference when I do. And you just hold it for about a nice five seconds. So you can see these ones are all like nice and up and these ones are flat. I'm just going in with mascara. I like to go on the top of them first and then go underneath them. So I kind of like to twist the mascara, like rotate it so that it gets every lash. And blinking into it really helps as well. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something during this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And feel free to leave a comment about any suggestions on videos you want to see and yeah. Thank you for watching. See ya.